Fun fact, did you know on average people watch over an hour of video online every day? Some studies say 84 minutes a day, which is oddly specific, and then others say over 100 minutes a day. So over an hour at least every day people are watching videos, which is why you need to start incorporating video into your business, specifically on your website. And in this video, we're going to talk about why and where to put those videos. So briefly, I wanna talk about why video is so powerful. Research shows that a lot of people actually retain information better when they watch a video and they feel more connected to the brand. They're more likely to buy from a brand if they watch a video about the product or about the person, whatever it is, because they feel a stronger connection because video, you actually get to see someone's personality and not just hear the words. Because as we all know, sometimes written words can be boring and sometimes tone can be misconstrued. So video is a great way to connect with your audience, especially as online business owners. I always tell my clients that anytime we can add video to your website, it's going to help conversions because you're not just another face in the crowd with a website. They actually get to click and see you on video and say, oh, like she seems really personable, he's really funny, whatever it is, they actually get to know you a little bit. Even if the video isn't about you, they're getting to talk with you in a way. There's a stat out there that actually says that videos on sales pages can drive conversions by up to 85%. With a stat like that, I think it's at least worth trying. So with that in mind, here are the five places that you need to put video on your website. Your homepage, your about page, your sales pages, your testimonials page, and your blog posts or articles. Now, I'm not saying that you literally need a video in all of those places. Those are just the places you can put, but I'm not saying you have to go create five separate videos. In fact, the homepage and about page video might actually be similar, so I might recommend just choosing one or the other. When it comes to your sales page videos, make sure you are not just reiterating the copy that is on the sales page because it's already on the sales page. <laughs> they don't need to hear you read it to them. Stick to talking about the benefits of the program, course, product, whatever it is that they are about to buy. And then for your blogs, make sure obviously that you have a transcript of your video. You want this content to be accessible. Not everyone likes or wants a video, but having it there can be more enticing. And when it comes to your testimonials, it doesn't have to be you because obviously like why would it be a video about you on your testimonials page? I actually have asked clients before to record a quick video for me and I've compiled that into one video and it's embedded on my testimonials page. Two very important details to remember when you are recording these videos. You want to be and not be like an Instagram story. <laughs> you want it to be like an Instagram story in terms of it being short and sweet. Literally a minute, two minutes max. That's it. People are not wanting to watch a five minute video when they come to your sales page. Second, record it horizontally, like what you're watching right now. <laughs> Do not record it like you're doing an Instagram story. You can upload that to YouTube, yes, but it's going to look weird. It's going to have black bars on the side. It's not going to look as nice. So keep it short like an Instagram story, but record it horizontally, the opposite of what you do for an Instagram story. Also, one of my favorite tips that you can try, it may or may not work for you, but copy your sales page copy. If you're doing one for you know your course or program, copy that page, put the text into ChatGPT and tell it that you want it to create a video script based on the copy without repeating any of the information and see what it gives you. That can give you at least a good starting point for what to say in your video. So remember, put a video on one of these pages, home, about, a sales page, a testimonials page, or start putting YouTube videos in your blog post. Choose one, 
Make it happen this month. Just record it on your computer, your phone, whatever works and see what happens. See how people start engaging more. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.